David Matumike, the national coordinator of the local government's trust, which is a partner in the Winter You Deliver Consortium. Today, we are gathering as a follow-up to a resolution that uh, was made in a, in a previous um, conference on devolution, where people were saying, what's the best way of implementing devolution? How do we go forward with implementation of devolution? Uh, amongst the resolutions was a resolution by the civil society cluster, which uh, resolved that there's need to um, coalesce and uh, coordinate civil society interventions on devolution implementation. Uh, it was decided that a task force should be formed to monitor and uh, input um, based on uh, citizens' views um, how devolution implementation should take place. So that's the purpose of this workshop today. We have invited uh, uh, civil society organizations and we are saying we, our efforts have been fragmented so far and now there's need to come together form a task force on uh, devolution which is a very very important issue because it talks about a whole state redesign and it should be a more rigorous process than what is currently obtaining we are not having as citizens in general a seat on the table in terms of how devolution should be implemented in Zimbabwe. And when we don't have any access to the process of implementation, we are unlikely to have content that we agree with, whether it is in the uh, alignment of legislation or in how the, 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 the devolution is actually structured. Devolution is not a small thing. It's a very big thing because we are talking about a whole state redesign. In the constitution we have three tiers of government and the, uh, previously we didn't have a constitutionalized third tier which is the provincial uh, council. Now it is there. But uh, the intention of devolution is to ensure that the citizens can participate meaningfully in decision making that affects their daily lives. So devolution is one form of decentralization. There are four types of, 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 of decentralization. There is what they call deconcentration of power, which is a government going and setting up field offices in the districts. It's no longer up there only in ministries, but it's uh, setting up, mini, uh, its ministries are having extensions at the district at the very local level. Then you have delegation where government is able to cede some of its powers to parastatals, but still those parastatals are ultimately uh, um, accountable more upwards to government than to citizens. Then you have what we are then calling devolution. Devolution, it means that the citizens are empowered through the, um, their uh, lower tiers of government, like the local authority, where you have uh, councillors elected directly for a ward. And uh, then the ward councillor is closer to the people you are able to make uh, um, to influence decisions that take place on policy. So the issue of devolution is about what powers um, should come from central government through um, to, to, to provincial structures and to local authorities so that citizens are more empowered. There are a lot of decisions currently which are just being made by central government when they could be made at the local level. So devolution pr promotes um, uh, accountability, transparency uh, in the public management of resources. So that is what uh, citizens need to know. And uh, what we would like to do is to ensure that uh, uh, as citizens we all know what de devolution means to our lives and therefore we, take, uh, we play our part in ensuring that the process gives us exactly what is in the constitution or what we want. The other form of decentralization, the last form is privatization, where government just allows uh, organizations to conduct business and so on as private entities.
I would not like to say yes or no. Uh, I do understand that uh, government has held some uh, provincial, um, you know, workshops uh, uh, on devolution. Um, I think they've held in nine provinces. They are they were yet to hold one in Harare. But what I can say is that most of these workshops have been workshops where government states its position, and we don't know whether inputs from citizens are actually being incorporated into those positions so that we end up with the devolution that we all want. So I would say that partly yes, partly no. And we are saying that civil society needs to speak more clearly to government and engage them. And it can be done. Government uh, had produced a, a, a bill, on a marriage bill, which uh, with the, its own perspective of how it should look like. But after citizen intervention, that bill changed. So we are saying similarly, uh, when we have concerns, if government listens, we might end up with a devolution that we are all happy about. One of the key issues that we are trying to push through this task force is that uh, because we are talking about a whole state redesign where there must be reallocation of power from the center uh, to other tiers of government such as the province and uh, the local authority. Government then becomes an interested party and we are saying that as long as they drive that process alone they are now acting as player and referee. What we would want ultimately is a more inclusive process where rather than just having an interministerial cabinet committee uh, to deal with the devolution to, to which citizens have very little access to input into that process of implementation of devolution we we as a, a, a task force are pushing for a devolution implement, uh, implementation commission uh, this is uh, not something new it has been done in Kenya, where in the constitution they actually uh, created institutions uh, through provisions in the constitution to oversee the process of devolution, and uh, which were very inclusive. So we want a, 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 we want to be able to 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 have institutions which are independent, which are more accessible to citizens, uh, for them to influence how exactly that devolution will be implemented, so that we make sure that it is aligned to the constitution and it serves the objectives of local government, which is basically decision making has come down to the level of the citizens because they are the ones who, are, who are, understand the local situation and are affected by decisions um, that uh, can be made to, to, for, in line with their development. For these and other stories, visit our website www.263chat.com. Follow us on Twitter at 263chat and like our Facebook page 263chat.